What's going on guys, Justin or OV update here. And before we get into today's video, I wanna give a shout out to Francisco for filming and doing this unboxing video and letting us post it on the channel. It's really cool and dope that he hit me up to do this. Uh, so yeah, I'm not in today's video, but my boy Francisco is and he absolutely killed it. So watch until the very end and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be doing a special unboxing of some of the pickups that I got during the grand opening in Tokyo, Japan, which happened on October 19th, 2019. Um, this might be the only video on YouTube that has these items unboxed. Um, so I want to give a special shout out to Justin OVO Update for allowing me to do this video. If you guys do like the video, please smash that like button. Um, if you guys aren't already subscribed to this channel, please do that as well. Share the video. And then I'm also going to be linking or plugging in my Instagram somewhere around here. Um, you guys can give me a follow. Follow you guys back. And now without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Alright guys, let's get into the unboxing now. Um, we're going to want to start with the smaller bag first. So on this bag, we have the exclusive Tokyo Japan shirt so the first one here is the the white one so here's the white one I don't know if you guys want to look at the skew that's pretty much what it shows on there so you have that um, so now I'm going to go ahead and open the bag and show you guys the actual shirt the dust bag is pretty um, standard now Standard size. So, go ahead and open this up. So here's the front of the shirt, which I believe it says OVO in the front. I mean, I just like the design of it, but I'm pretty sure this says OVO. Made in Canada. So and now. What I did notice on these is that the tags right here, this is something different. I want to show you guys that. Now let's go ahead and look at the back of the t-shirt. So this is the, the back of the shirt right here. So you guys can see that. I know for sure in the back, um, the address of the store is on there. Um, not really sure what else is in the back. I know the uh, red OG Owl is on there. I know the also, in the bottom, you can see the Canada in the bottom. So that's the, this is the white one right here. So now we'll go ahead and unbox or open up the black one now. So you guys see that now, all right? So we'll put this one aside now, just for now. And let's get into the, the black one now. Same thing, you wanna get into the skew. You can see that. It's in the dust bag as well. Let's go ahead and open this one up too. I think, personally, I think I like the black one a lot better. Let me know you guys, what you guys think on the black or white. And the black one looks a lot better. But, so here's the front. Again, OVO. Made in Canada. Now the back. This is the back right here. Something on these that I did notice is that they don't have the little, the little tab in the bottom. But I think it looks clean anyway, right? And one more time, show you guys the back. All right. So those are the shirts, my size, which is a 2XL. 
I'm gonna put that away. And now, I think what everybody has been waiting for is the bigger item. All right, so now for the big bag, I think everyone's been waiting for this one because what's inside this bag is nothing but Porter. Now, I did get everything from the collab. The only thing I didn't get was the laptop bag, which I can live without. Uh, wasn't a pretty big deal on that. Um, now, what is cool is that at the store, they did give me some extra bags because I asked for them. They were nice enough to give me one, two, three of the large bags. So that was pretty uh, nice of them. I mean, I did uh, spend quite a bit of money on there. So got these just for the hell of it. Um, he also gave me a small one too. Pull that out first before we get into everything else. Small bag as well. I like these bags, so I'm mean, gonna just have them. Alright, so now I'm gonna start off with the small item. So the first one we're gonna start off with is the wallet. You can see that. You can see the the steel on there again if you want to look at that. So now with the wallet, this was like for sure a must cop. One thing I don't really quite understand is the packaging on these. It's very plain. I wish they would have done um just better packaging overall. I mean this is like very basic. Just like a like a wrap, just a little piece of tape to seal that up. I wish they would have done something a little bit better, but whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and open this guy up. thing as the other one. It's got the Japanese letters on there. I'm gonna put that aside. Alright, so here's the wallet. As you guys can see there. I'm gonna flip it around for you guys. You guys can see it. So of course you see the uh, the logo on here Porter and then the owl right next to it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just open it up for you guys. So, all right, so inside we have, I think, more tags. Hold on. So we do have another tag on there. So I guess we have two of them. And then, uh, so this is my first time looking at this, so you guys are kind of like getting my first impression on it. It looks like, I don't know where, like, I don't know, debit cards go here or here. I'm not really sure. Um, I'll probably have to mess around with that and see what goes where. Kind of feels like a like a coin bag, really, but I think a debit card will probably fit right here. Maybe some cash. Can't really fit too much in here, though. I'll tell you that much. Um, so it does have the monogram print OVO all over it. That's pretty cool. Um, love the color. Subtle. Black. Matches everything, right? Now, one thing I did notice is the, the zipper. Looks like really good quality on the zipper. So, I think that's uh, something to expect as each of these items are pretty pricey. So, that's the wallet. Just a quick impression, quick unboxing on the wallet. All right, let's go on to the next item. That's the wallet. Um, next item is going to be. Alright, so this is the Porter OVO shoulder bag. You can see the skew on there. 
All right, again, packaging, very basic, very simple. Wish they would have done something better. I mean, this just, I don't know. It's just my opinion. It just looks very basic. Could have put it like in a dust bag, you know, something that will fit the actual item with the owl in the front. I just think that would have looked a lot better. That's just my opinion. So again, this is just being held by one piece of tape right in the back. I'm going to just open this up for you guys. Boom. Open this up. And there's a shoulder bag. Um, so this one also, the tag was loose already. These are brand new items, so I guess they just come loose like that. Because even the wallet was also loose on this one as well. Um, but here's a shoulder bag. Ooh, a lot smaller than what I expected. Um, again, this is my first time looking at all these items. Um, I want to make the video with you guys so I can kind of like share the experience with everyone. I'm pretty sure I can adjust this, but I'll mess with that later on. Here's the, the print, as you can see there. You see the logo right over here, Porter, and then the owl for OVO. So let's go ahead and open this up. See what's inside. I'll open up the, um, the outer pocket. This one here, you can see, again, the tag on here. So on this one on the inside, we have a, again another tag. Check that out. All right. So on the inside, it's really hard to tell, but let me see if I can kind of get in there, kind of show you guys. So inside, what I do see is there's like um, a Velcro right here. Looks like it's like a little pouch inside. So it goes all the way inside. I know it's kind of hard to see in the video, but there's a, a Velcro in there. Um, besides that, that's pretty much that's pretty much it as far as the inside. So it does have a, a, like a back pocket, and then the inside, just nothing else. Just um, goes all the way in. Now on the outside, we do have one more zipper over here. Same thing, uh, no pockets within this pocket. It's just hollow, so you can just put whatever you want in here. Um, and then same thing here, just put whatever you want. And then if you wanna put something else in the back pocket right here inside, uh, I guess more secure, I guess. Um, after I'm done with everything, I'll cut the video, adjust this, and then I'll put it on, just so you guys can see how how it looks. I'm really hoping you can adjust this because this is really small. But uh, we'll figure that out here in a little bit. But that's the shoulder bag. All right, we'll get on to the, the next item now. All right, so the next item is the the waist bag, so get close up again. Just give you guys want to look at that. All right, so you guys already know about the packaging. I'm not gonna go over that again. I'm gonna just open it again. One little piece of tape that is being held by. I'm gonna just open that up. Boom. Put the shoulder bag out. I'm sorry, the waist bag, I'm sorry. So, I'm gonna take a look at this now. Um, again, these are loose, but the same thing as the other one. And if you guys wanna look at the skew one more time, it's, it's right there. You guys wanna see the tag again. All right, I'm gonna put this to the side. Now, this was, um, in the store, it actually looked a lot bigger. I don't know why. Maybe because they probably have some stuff inside. But I like the size of it. Um, it is it, it is a little little big. 
but I think with some stuff in there, um, I think it will look nice. Again, the monogram on there, Porter, and then the OVO, the owl right there. Um, let's go ahead and open up the first outer pocket. Actually, something I forgot to mention on the other ones too is that every single zipper, so if you zoom in on here, it does show or it says Porter on every single one of them. So that's a, a quick note on every single zipper on all the items. That's pretty cool. Just want to open this up. So in the, in the first one, as you can see here, you do have a opening right here. And then it looks like you have two little flaps. So you can probably put like an ID or something right here. Another one over here on this side. Now on the inside, I guess something that I noticed on this one is that it has a monogram print on the inside right here. But on this side of the bag, it does not. Um, so just a quick note on that, something I just noticed right now. I'm going to zip up this side now. And then I'm going to open up the, the back side now. So the back side, I'm going to open that up. So this side looks a little bit bigger than the other pocket. Same thing on this one, um, just an opening right here. You can put whatever you want. And it looks like, okay, so this one looks like it's one big pocket, but it does have a Velcro right here. So you just unstrap that. And then you have an opening right here. You can put whatever you want. Now on this one, this one does not have the monogram on this side, but this middle divider, it does have it. So on the middle divider, it does have the, the print. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does have the print on this middle divider. And then again, on this side, it's plain, has nothing on there. Um, so overall, pretty cool. And then once again, like I said, once I'm done unboxing everything, I'll go ahead and put it on so you guys can see how, how it fits. The, the buckle to the back, the waist bag, fanny pack, whatever you guys want to call it. It looks like, um, it looks like this material is pretty sturdy. Um, it looks like it is all in one. I mean, I've never, I don't remember the last time I ever had a fanny pack, so don't know if these ever became detachable or not, but so the bag does have the monogram, as you guys can see that. So that's pretty cool. And then on this side as well. So that's pretty cool. And then of course the whole back side as well. The OVL monogram all over. So that was pretty much it on the, the waist bag. Really nice. Um, and then on to the last piece. I'm gonna put this down right here. Now, save the best for last. Now, this last piece was by far the most expensive piece out of, um, out of all the pieces that I have here, which is the backpack. Now, the backpack, yeah, it was about $400 US. So, I'm going to show you guys, I guess, the skew right here in the, in the outside, if you guys want to see that. Tag again, is right here loose. This is brand new, never opened, but I guess, I don't know why the tags are loose, but it is what it is. Not a big deal. Um, again, being held by barely, just a little piece of tape right there. I actually don't know how many backpacks they had in stock but I do know that even the next day on Sunday when I checked the website they were still in stock 
Um, I don't know if they sold that in store or not. Yeah, so one thing I did notice um, when the store opened is that everybody ran for the Raptor 4s. Everybody, like, I think they all slept on the Porter stuff. They really wanted the shoes. But this is all I wanted, especially being in the U.S. I mean, the, the Raptor 4s are pretty attainable, but this is not. Um, so here's a backpack. So it's got the monogram all over. Really good quality. I mean, as far as the, the zippers, uh, honestly, I mean, this feels like polyester. I mean, I don't know, I could be wrong, but it's okay. But I do like the design. It's very subtle. I love black. I do like the monogram. That's pretty much all over the backpack. So now with this guy, I guess we can start right here. Again, Porter, and then the OVO Al right over here. Let's see if this is a pocket right here. There's like a little, little flap right here. It doesn't look like anything. Oh, actually it is. So I did not know this. Again, this is my first time like really looking at any of those because I wanted to make the video so we can like look at this together. So right here, this little flap. So there is a pouch. So I did not know that. So right here, if I can get it. It's right here. I'm gonna just open that up. There's a little pocket right here you can put whatever you want in there. Let me see the inside of this is monogrammed. Okay, so again, the outer is not monogram, but the inside of it, hopefully you can see that, is monogram. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I did not even know that this pocket even existed. That's pretty cool that I found that out. Little hidden compartment, I guess. Now on the zipper, we're going to open this one up. I don't know why I like these, uh, these zippers so much. They feel good. They feel like they're not going to get stuck, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Now right here in the front, we have, again, big opening right here. Um, once again, the outer does not have the monogram, but the inside does. Now right here we have... We have like two pouches right here. We have one on the left, one on the right. So you can kind of see that, right? Two pouches right here. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then you can put whatever you want right here. So close that up. And then let me explore. Here's the bottom right here again. Monogram all over. I'm going to go ahead and take you guys to the left side of the bag. I know on the pictures online I saw this. I was wondering what this is right here. It looks like there's like a little flap right here. I'm going to just open this up. Let's see what this is. I don't know. I mean, I guess in my opinion, it looks like you can just put whatever you want in here. And then just to secure it, you have the Velcro. And then you also have the button. So that kind of like secures it um, even more. I really don't know what you would put in here, but you can put something small. And then just secure it with the Velcro and then close it up using the button. Snaps really cool, really good. Doesn't look like it'll open up pretty easily, especially with the, um, the Velcro being all over over here and over here on this side. Um, this is, I don't know, nothing over here. Go ahead and take a look at the other side. So it looks like you have the same thing on this side, it looks like. Let's see. So on the right side of the bag, go ahead and open this up. Okay, so this one does not open like the other one. This one just kind of opens up a little bit as you can see here you can put whatever you want in here i don't know what you would put in here it's a pretty small pocket but it does have the button it does have the velcro and then you can just close it up like that cool 
Now the back. Pretty standard backpack as far as the design. Um, on the ground all over the place. And then that's how that looks. That is going to the the main compartment. Open that up. So the main compartment of the backpack it looks like again plain on this side and then you have the monogram all in the inside. You have the tag right over here. And then on the inside of the backpack, I know you guys probably can't see, but it goes in all the way. Um, now towards the back of the backpack, it looks like it has one big strap. So I'm just open that up. You probably put like an iPad or something over here. A smaller one because it doesn't look like a, hmm, like a bigger iPad Pro will fit in here. I don't know if my iPad Pro will fit in here. Probably not. No, definitely not. Actually, um, yeah. Any of the iPad Pro that I have. Let's see if this will fit. I have the um, the older second gen 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I'm going to try to put this in. Just kind of show you guys a reference on. 12.9 inch. So this will definitely fit in here for sure. Uh, as far as the back one, let me try it. Mm, probably like squeeze it in there, honestly, but I wouldn't probably do that. So 12.9 inch with the case. It's a snug fit. Nah, I probably wouldn't do that. So definitely will fit in the main compartment. But as far as the back one, it's not going to fit. Um, but, kind of like size reference, so 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It's in there, you still have quite a bit of space on there. Close it back up. So, I think you can put a pretty decent amount of stuff in there. But that's pretty much it guys. I mean, that's um, my quick unboxing slash overview of the Porter collection for OVO, backpack, wallet, the waist bag, shoulder bag, two t-shirts. Um, now what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, stop the video now and then we're going to go ahead and try to do one. Alright guys, so I got everything on right now. got the uh, waist bag, shoulder bag, backpack on. Just kind of want to show you guys how it fits. So. You guys can kind of see the fit. Um, as far as the shoulder bag, I did have to extend it all the way for it to fit on, on myself the way it came. There was no way I was putting that on. But it does look pretty good. Now the backpack, something again that I noticed was that's cool. Again, monogram right here on the backpack. I like that. Shows off the OVO. And then I, did put, just in my, I left my iPad in the back so it has a little bit of something in there. I'm to show that. Um, there's the backpack. And then everything else. Um, I guess something that I didn't go over just because I know that Justin will be able to update. already went over the pricing on everything. But just for um, kind of show you guys what I paid for. I have the receipts right here. Kind of zoom in on that. So I did do separate tickets. So on this ticket right here, I did all the Porter stuff. Came out to be 110,000 yen, um, which I'll go ahead and put on the video how much that converts to USD. Um, probably throw in Canada as well. So on the on this side, the two T-shirts came out to be 14,300 yen. Um, grand total, I don't know, give or take, it was like. Converted to USD, it was like, with taxes, was about, around, I don't know, $1,100 USD. Now, on the receipts on, on these, I did notice that on the back, it's plain. So there's nothing in the back. I wanted to show you guys that. So on other receipts, they would have the um, return exchange policy in the back. But these are just plain ones. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, Alright, so that was pretty much everything guys. If you guys liked the video, 
please give it a like, comment down below on your favorite items that I pretty much unbox. Um, now I'm going to plug my Instagram somewhere around here. Give me a follow, follow you guys back. Now if OVO Update liked this video and we got a um, good response, I mean I do have other stuff that I have that's OVO related. Um, I can kind of show off my collection if he um, if he wants to do it. So it's up to Justin. OVO update. That's pretty much it, guys.